Welcome to our travel guide mini-series showcasing some of the best places to visit on Cape Cod. In this video, we are exploring the beautiful town of Dennis, which is centrally located in the mid-Cape region. Dating back to 1793 and with five distinct villages to explore, Dennis is full of adventures waiting to be discovered. Dennis has several spectacular beaches along Cape Cod Bay. At low tide, the water recedes incredibly far, leaving behind lots to explore in the tide pools. We loved Mayflower Beach for walks and for exploring. Mayflower Beach is a relaxing spot to spend the day. Jay even caught a snow flurry here. Our other favorite spot is Corporation Beach. This crescent-shaped beach has calm waters and lots of pebbles to find. The views are spectacular and the huge low tide flats are perfect for little explorers. The town of Dennis is a cultural hub of the Cape. Since 1927, the Cape Playhouse has been delighting audiences as the longest running professional summer theater in the country. Next door, the Cape Cinema is a locally owned art house which shows films and hosts concerts and events. Also on the grounds is the Cape Cod Museum of Art. We explored their peaceful sculpture garden, fish pond, and gorgeous gift shop, which showcases handmade items from dozens of local artists. We had heard and read rave reviews about Scargo Cafe, which has been serving up delicious fare since 1987. We booked one of their unique, COVID-friendly outdoor dining greenhouses for dinner. Our kids were so excited to dine in a tent. Actually, we all were. The menu offers excellent variety and our dinners were amazing. Finish your meal with their famous New England grape nut custard. And here's a hint, you can find their famous grape nut custard recipe on their website. If you're looking for a quiet spot that's a bit tucked away, head to Princess Beach at Scargo Lake. This tiny beach is so peaceful and secluded. We loved it and our kids really enjoyed the swings too. Take a few extra minutes to visit nearby Scargo Tower, a 30-foot cobblestone tower built in 1901. If it's open, the views from the top stretch from Plymouth to Provincetown. Also nearby is Scargo Pottery, which has a lovely display of items crafted by local artists. Our family was fortunate to be invited out to an oyster farm at low tide to take a peek at how these delicacies are raised. John and Stephanie Lowell of East Dennis Oyster Farm hosted us on the tidal flats off Quivet Neck and explained how they raise oysters from seeds and harvest them for market. Their process truly is incredible, and Jay and I even got to taste one. Switching gears to sweet treats, we found our favorite ice cream at Ice Cream Smuggler. Since 1979, they've been churning out homemade small batch ice cream daily in their shop in East Dennis. Co-owner Carter Catalano invited us in to see her staff in action and measure our height against their popular ice cream measuring stick. It's no wonder they've been recognized by the Food Network for their hot fudge sundae. For a fun and unique shopping experience, the advice of locals led us to Cape Abilities Farm, part of the larger Cape Abilities nonprofit which provides jobs, homes and services to people with disabilities. The farm provides employment and training opportunities as well as a wonderful place to visit. The farm offers local and organic foods, gifts, art, and a colorful nursery. We even happened upon the Easter Bunny during our visit. Be sure to check out our travel resources link in the video description below, which details our must-have travel gear and includes valuable discounts to help you plan your next trip. Now let's head south to Dennisport. We loved Dennisport for its beaches and quiet neighborhoods. As you meander down Main Street, see if you can find the Dennis Mural for a fun family photo. Nearby, you can also rent kayaks and take to the water. 
Dennisport has awesome beaches, including West Dennis Beach, which stretches for over a mile and has plenty of parking. It's the perfect place for long walks. Here you'll find the Lighthouse Inn. Dating back to 1938, this inn offers Cape-style guest houses and cottages right on the shore. Dennisport also has several beautiful smaller beaches as you move east along the sound. Walking distance to our house was Sea Street Beach. With small rock jetties, a lifeguard tower, and gentle waves, this became our family's go-to beach spot. Ready for a caffeine kick? Our favorite coffee shop in Dennis is Three Thins Coffee Roasters. Roasting small batches of top-graded specialty coffee, their handcrafted drinks are simply incredible. Co-owner Catherine Bieri sources their coffee beans intentionally and sustainably, focusing on fair trade, small lot coffees. Their shop has an airy, welcoming atmosphere and their pastries are the perfect complement to their coffee. Their coffee beans are available throughout the Cape in various markets and online. If you're looking for a homemade sweet treat, follow us to Stage Stop Candy. Located in a charming historic house in Dennisport, Stage Stop has been making exceptional chocolate and candy confections since 1982. Co-owner Mandy Fidel explained that since 2009, they've been operating 100% on solar power. Lovingly made by hand on site, the astonishing variety of these special goodies is worth a visit. Just ask our kids, they're the ones holding the chocolate peeps. If your family loves to bike, run, walk, or scooter, you gotta check out the Cape Cod Rail Trail. This 25-mile paved trail runs through seven towns from Yarmouth to Wellfleet and offers a variety of scenery perfect for nature lovers. The trail also passes through Nickerson State Park and the Cape Cod National Seashore. We put a lot of time, energy, and heart into making this Dennis video, and we sincerely thank all of the businesses and the community who welcomed us and enhanced our visit. If you found this video helpful, informative, or just plain enjoyable, please give us a thumbs up, and we invite you to subscribe to our channel to see more beautiful travel destinations. Not sure where to visit on the Cape? Watch our other videos in our Cape Cod mini-series. The Cape has so much to explore. We wish you safe travels. Until next time.